Welcome to ClockClass.com. We're going to be talking about some metals today. In the spring steel, heating it up cherry red and quenching it made it really hard. Harder, actually, than it was before. In this 01 tool steel, the same thing occurred. Made it extremely hard. The coal rolled steel, not a lot of change, just slightly harder. In the brass, however, heating it up and quenching it actually made the brass softer. Okay, that's fairly significant. It's something I want you to remember for future reference. And the aluminum, it didn't change it much at all. Okay, now this is a bench grinder. And what I'm going to do is throw some sparks, hopefully. Now this is going to make some noise, so I should probably give you an idea of what you want to look for first. Look at the characteristics of the sparks, how the spark radiates out, how it has a lot of filaments. I'm going to do, let's do the aluminum first. You may not even see any sparks on the aluminum. So I'll do the aluminum, then I'll do the brass, then I'll do the tool steel, and then the spring steel. Okay, so aluminum, brass, and then coal rolled steel, tool steel, and spring steel. Okay, here we go. Well, nothing happened with that. No sparks with the brass. Okay, now watch the characteristics of the sparks with the cold rolled steel. Okay, now watch with the tool steel. Okay, I'm going to show you the difference again. Cold rolled, tool. Cold rolled, tool. Okay. Now here's the spring steel. Tool steel, spring steel, coal rolled steel. Okay, were you able to see the difference there? The coal rolled steel didn't throw off quite as many sparks. The sparks that it did throw off, they didn't have the filaments. They weren't the starburst character. Of course, no sparks with those. The tool steel threw off quite a few sparks. The sparks had filaments, and that's the carbon burning off of it. And then the spring steel really had a lot of high carbon in there. So really threw it off. So if you're curious about a piece of steel and its carbon content, watch the sparks on the grinder.